Hello world, my name is Vampire Scythe. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are brand new. Today is Thursday so I'm bringing you a brand new speed build. I feel like it has been a long time since I built and it really has been a long time since I built. If you've been following my not so berry challenge then you might actually recognize this house but at the same time maybe you won't because I only used it like in one episode. This house is supposed to be for my not so berry challenge of course like I just said for my yellow generation to be precise this is the house that robin purchased when toby the first time ever they moved out you know the very very first time but then i played with it for like an episode and then seasons came out so then yeah i ended up moving right away so yeah it was only our house for one episode but i made it specifically for robin so you're gonna see a lot of yellow during this house i guess i should have named it not so very house or something but i don't know i mean i don't even think i named it on the gallery honestly i feel like yeah <laughs> i don't know what was going on with me again this has been pre-recorded obviously because i did it for that specific reason and obviously we're almost done with a yellow generation so yeah this is a recorded speed build but i had not had a chance to re or not record it obviously i recorded it i had not had a chance to just edit or sit here and edit it specifically with the builds i don't know what it's been like i get in my mood sometimes i don't feel like playing you know doing let's plays at all i just feel like building so that's what i do i build i build i build and i build and i went through that phase honestly when seasons came out all I wanted to do was build and build and build. So I think I got all the building out of my system and now I don't really feel like building. I don't even feel like editing builds, honestly. Like, I'm just being straight up with you guys. I don't feel like it, but I had it and I did for my schedule. Kind of promise builds every Thursday. So here is a build. I'm sorry that it's not something new, but um, I hope you guys still like it. I mean, it doesn't have to be specifically for the Not So Berry Challenge. Obviously, it's a family home. It has a big backyard and obviously, I just put um a lot of I think I put like a telescope and I put the rocket ship um, the building rocket ship set thing uh, in the backyard just because again it is meant for Robin but you know that can easily be deleted or replaced with something else it does have monkey bars however I would like to go back and just add a swing set but no one's living in this house so I haven't really but honestly at the swing sets you know it, the swing sets are amazing but anyways, the house does, I think it's 64 times 64 lot, so it's a pretty big lot, I'm pretty sure. It's in, uh, it's not Winterberg, it's Brindle, Brindleton. Yeah, that one. Uh, and it's the big lot in the middle. This is actually where my not so very mansion was located as well. So definitely I think it's a 64 times 64. I forgot to check when I did the screenshots, I'm sorry. But it's a big, very big lot. So I really, like, I'm like 99% sure that it is 64 times 64. And so yeah, it's a pretty big house. But, I mean, it has different things. Obviously, it has a garage. You guys can see that I already made it. And it has the living room or the formal living room, as I like to call it, on the bottom. This little room here is a little office. And I think it's kind of cute. Like, I've seen this in real houses because I've been looking around the real houses. So I've been getting a lot of inspiration, obviously. Again, this is something that I saw in a real house, so I kind of modeled this house based on that house that I saw that one time, and it was amazing, but eh, it was a little bit too big for my taste, but for The Sims, hey, it's perfect. But yeah, I mean, in real life, I don't want a two-story house, so I think just because I'm a lazy person, like, I always picture myself like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna be upstairs, yay, I just woke up, let's go downstairs to make breakfast, and then be like, oh. I forgot my phone and then having to go all the way up and then I forget things like really fast so by the time I get upstairs I know I'll like forget why I was there and then come back downstairs and then I realize why I went upstairs and then have to go back upstairs because I've done that multiple times not precisely in a two-story house but just like in my little in my little tiny apartment that I live in one bedroom apartment I leave my phone everywhere I leave it in the bathroom when I go to the bathroom I forget it I leave it there on the sink well not on the sink but you know on the cabinet and then i walk out and then when i'm in the living room I'm like where's my phone and then i start looking for it and then i go to the restroom or like by the time because my restroom is in my bedroom so then i like see something in my bedroom and then i get distracted then i go back and sit down on the couch and i'm like oh i went there to go get my phone and then i go back and yeah i have a very like terrible memory i'm sorry <laughs> i really do you can ask anybody anyone can be my witness 
But anyways, yes, that's the reason why I don't want a two-story house because I know, I know it's gonna be such a workout for me and I'm just very lazy. I mean, I technically started working out already just because I do wanna be healthier. I don't wanna lose weight or anything like that. Not that you guys have seen my face yet, but I mean, if you guys are curious to see what I look like, I do have an Instagram, so you can totally check it out and see if you're curious like I said but yeah I'm not trying to lose weight I'm just trying to be healthier just because I feel like I feel it like I feel I feel it in my body I'm always tired I can sleep all day and wake up still feeling tired and yeah that's just me I'm trying to be healthier so what I mean by that is just focusing on giving myself a little bit more time like I said in prior videos I started working full-time so now I'm working full-time my schedule is from 7 30 in the morning I get a half hour lunch and then I get out at 4 4 p.m. and then it's an hour drive because I work downtown and I don't live downtown and yes downtown traffic is horrible like horrible so it's a morning it's a morning it's uh, an hour drive in the morning and an hour drive back in the afternoon and yes I still have to come home and cook dinner and I've been getting into meal preps because again I want to be healthier so I meal prep now for myself and for my fiance and yeah it's a lot it's a lot and I don't have kids yet but it's already a lot and yeah I come home and I try to work out a little bit and then I try doing some yoga as well just because I love stretching it feels good because I have back problems so by the end of the day my back and my neck sometimes too are killing me so I like to do yoga and it helps with back pain and yes there's like I have digestive problems like my stomach can't tolerate certain foods spices mostly and yeah I get sick uh, like my stomach will be burning and just hurting for days and I can't eat anything but like soup like chicken broth and that's it <sighs> I'm like full of problems so like I said I I was perfectly healthy before and I feel like I've been falling apart lately and I think it's just because I'm not a very healthy like I just let go like I was eating junk food every day just because I was lazy of coming home and cooking but you know that, that has to stop that's why I've been trying to make all these changes with my meal preps and you know eating home more and one thing or two things that I have eliminated completely are uh, chips I don't eat any more chips I mean occasionally you know I'll like cheat my diet or something if I'm like the craving is really bad but I really don't I try not to like today I was craving chips at work like so bad but I fought through it I ate my carrots instead so you know little things like that I think can make a difference and then the second thing is soda I don't drink any more soda I try to stick to water if I can't have water or like if I'm tired of drinking water then I'll have some green tea you know like the Arizona green tea and that is about it when we go out to restaurants I can have some Powerade so it's like things like that I just don't drink soda anymore I definitely eliminated it and it sucks because I crave Dr. Pepper so much but I mean it's for a healthier living also I try to eliminate sweets as much as I can like I won't eat candy but there's like the occasional you know cravings I crave muffins the most like chocolate chip muffins oh my god I can finish the whole box if I buy some like in the same day so that's the only problem I still eat a lot of muffins or not a lot I try to do like one a day which is still a lot but yes I don't know how this turned into a healthy video type of review but anyways yes uh, that's how I'm trying to be healthier you know little by little I even consider going vegetarian but I can't and I know I can't I just can't there's like certain things that I just I can't stop eating I mean I do try that's another thing I eat a lot less meat like I won't eat any ground beef or like um, like just regular like steak like I will you know occasionally like rarely I try to focus more on chicken and turkey so that's what I've been cooking a lot more lately but then when it comes to lunch I try to like avoid it at all like I guess I'm vegetarian during lunchtime during dinner is when I actually you know kind of have to make it just because my fiance is no part of this like he wants no part of it he wants to continue eating everything so I, I do have to cook meat for him but I try to stick to chicken and turkey like I said 
and he's okay with it but occasionally you know he does crave a steak and or like ground beef korean beef and stuff like that so i do have to make it but then when i make it i try not to eat it i make it just for him so yeah little things like that you know just to be healthier and honestly it has made a change i feel like it definitely has i feel a little beer or like at least a little bit more of energy in the mornings when i wake up because i would wake up like i couldn't wake up before no matter what time i went to bed it was just horrible and then on top of everything i also suffer from anxiety i have been all my life since i was a kid i was a kid with anxiety if you can believe that so yeah that has gotten a little bit better as well i have learned to kind of control it and meditate and you know just do little things here and there to keep it in check but yes i am completely a mess as you can tell and i have no idea like i said how it turned into this but i feel like that's the good thing about builds this is what i enjoy about builds yes it's harder to edit because i have to sit through like literally like six hours of footage and just be cutting out all my pauses and all the stuff that's kind of useless and repetitive so that kind of sucks a little bit that's why i kind of was dreading it but now that i'm actually doing the voiceover i don't know like i feel like i get a chance to talk to you guys or just to talk to somebody because i know i don't know I, I just feel like it's good and it's fun and i enjoy it and i hope you guys enjoy it too i hope i'm not bringing you guys down i mean it's kind of a lesson <laughs> i guess you can say <laughs> no i'm kidding um but yes I, I really do enjoy doing the voiceovers because i get to just talk about life and you know just kind of express myself and give an update of what's going on in my life currently and I, I don't know i really really enjoy it and i hope you guys do too like i said but like i said in the beginning this is a video for the not so very challenge it was supposed to be at least for the not so very challenge so there's a lot of yellow as you guys can tell by this room this is actually the master bedroom so i do go into detail and it's pretty big but i think it's really nice i do add a closet and you know just some little things here and there and a lot of the things you can you guys won't see on the video because uh, a lot of the things I added were like posters and stuff like that like science posters and alien stuff that Robin had already gotten from her job and I just added them around the house um, once I was actually playing just to completely debate it to her or dedicate it to her but yes I do go back and make ch some changes like I said so this house has a kitchen obviously it has a dining room slash formal living room area which is open plan and then it does have a uh, half a bathroom downstairs and it has a little area for a gym or not comp I don't know I don't want to call it a gym because it's kind of just a th uh, treadmill and uh, whatever you call the other thing for your arms I don't know but yeah it's just it's like a little house gym so that's perfect and I added it because she does have to work out for her job so we need that I don't want to be traveling to the gym back and forth this is her huge uh, master bathroom so yeah I don't go into details in the bathrooms that much because they're just bathrooms nothing special about them they're bathrooms so yeah I add the basics and then I change subjects as you guys can see but yes master bathroom and a master bedroom and it does have two other bedrooms for the kids I made a boys bedroom and a girls bedroom and you guys will see that in a second and then the two bedrooms share a bathroom so they both have access to the same bathroom to their through their bedrooms and then obviously the huge backyard like I said and then um, I'm trying to think of anything else oh it does have a laundry room as well a little laundry room but anyways oh it does have a second living room upstairs which is the more laid back like the family living room i add a game council and everything that's where i picture toby and the kids hanging out playing video games uh on contrary the bottom one doesn't even have a tv because it's just the formal one just for visits so they can just sit and chat with the um fireplace on and this is a bathroom as you can see it has two doors and it connects to their bedroom so they both share this bathroom and i made it blue and pink just so i can make it or make it represent both the boy and the girl uh not that it matters because the girl in this case it would be it would have been ash uh she's not very girly she's a great generation i mean you can make her girly but in my perspective 
from what the description says, I picture her as a tomboy since she likes sports and being active and stuff like that. So yeah, I would, I, I just picture her as kind of tomboyish. So yeah, she's not very girly in my eyes, but I've seen other Let's Plays where they did make her um, kind of girly. And I know because of her job, she does become a cheerleader at once, like at one point. So I don't know, I guess it's up for debate. For my, in my opinion, she would be a tomboy. But someone else can have a totally different opinion. You know, it's a free speech world. But anyways, this is the upstairs living room, the laid back family chill spot. <laughs> so I do add the little farmhouse couches just because this, this is the vibe I get from Robin. I don't know why. I think it's her braids. <laughs> this is just the vibe I get. Um, and I do love all farm stuff, by the way. Um, I have not decided what I want in my house, by the way, like I have no sense of decoration. Like it's easy to do it on The Sims, but in real life it's just hard. It's really hard because I like farm style and then I like um, like minimalist and then I like industrial. So I have uh, no idea. I like my apartment right now. It's kind of a mix of everything. <laughs> I like anime, so there's kind of like anime everywhere and Disney everywhere. So it's kind of a mess, you know, but I don't care right now. It's just an apartment, no big deal. But once I have a house though, I want it to be on point like my sim houses are. But anyways, this is the boy's bedroom. So I just went with blue, you know, when you have a boy, you usually go with blue. Just kind of a stereotype, I guess you can say. It really is like a stereotype. Just because it's a boy, you kind of imagine that they like blue. But it's just, I don't know, tradition, I guess. They don't know what the colors are, so yeah, you go with blue for boy and pink for girls. Except if it's the girl with Ash. <sighs> but yes, oh god, I'm getting tired of talking already. It's been what? 16 minutes, 17 minutes pretty soon. So yeah, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Just a bunch of blue stuff for boys. And I do come back and add some toys at the end just to kind of fill up the space. There's a lot of space in this house. And yeah, this is Ash's room. I went with the blue. The walls look blue, but it's really gray. And my sister, like my real life sister, has this exact same color on her walls. And then they change. Like one point they look like depending on the day. Like the, the ugh, I can't speak no more. I got tired. Depending on the day of the. <laughs> I still can't say it depending on the light of day that's what I meant to say it changes like in the mornings it does look gray but then like in the afternoons it looks purple and then by like the night it looks blue so yeah it changes I think it's pretty cool because all colors are really pretty but this is honestly what her room looks like and yes uh, for Ash you're gonna see a lot of gray her bed it's blue her bed is actually blue but uh, I think it looks grayish like the walls so I just added that one because you know we don't want much color for her and you know the gray kitty and I just added white furniture for her since you know she's kind of a plain person it's gonna be kind of boring because I love colors and just to have kind of like you know it's again it's so weird because I love colors on the sims but in real life honestly I used to live in black I used to wear black like every day and I do have a lot of black clothing but I have recently discovered like a really huge love for yellow <laughs> yes I don't know why my favorite color used to be purple even though I always dressed in black I don't own anything purple but my hair was purple at one point and then it was also red and then it was also pink so yeah my hair has gone through a lot but um yeah color wise i love yellow like i don't know what it is about it yellow i used to think it was ugly <laughs> before but now it's like i love it that's like my new favorite color so i actually really like this generation because i love yellow i don't know what it is about it i just love it i love like lemons you know like if you put lemons out for decorations they look so pretty just because of the color the pop of color yellow i don't know i just i'm, I'm a weird person I, or maybe not maybe not i mean liking yellow is not bad and i'm sure a lot of you guys love yellow as well or maybe not like my fiance likes orange so <laughs> i mean if we ever decorate based on our favorite colors our whole house is gonna be yellow and orange so i don't think that's a good combination <laughs> but yes we have the strangest colors you know the strangest favorite colors i really ended up loving the outside and i don't think i show it here because i 
think I go back and add it later. But in the screenshots, you guys can see that I use. I ended up using the round table with the farm chairs, uh, farmhouse chairs outside, and it looks gorgeous. And I do add a bar, so it looks honestly gorgeous. But right here. Uh, this is when I actually built it and then I started playing and when I started playing usually that's what happens when I start playing I you know I'm like oh something's missing and that, that, that's when I, I start adding stuff I can't even talk anymore guys I'm so tired like my cheeks literally are hurting uh, but the video is almost over I like to stay between 20 minutes or like 15 to 20 minutes uh, I don't like going past 20 minutes but sometimes it happens like this video is gonna be a bit longer it's 21 minutes as of not as of now but as of what i'm looking at what i edited so far and then with the screenshots maybe it's gonna be around 23 minutes 23 to 25 minutes so i don't think that's too bad but once i hit the 30 minute mark i'm like oh my god this video is so long i can't like i can't sit through videos that long myself unless they're like let's plays but if they're builds i just i can't do it but I did wanted to ask you guys if you guys enjoy builds or if you guys would like me to focus on creative sims or just what are your favorite type of sim videos that you guys like to watch. If you guys like creative sims more, uh, build videos or more let's plays or I'm just trying to get a feel of what to do the most. Because right now I feel like it's kind of all equal but I want to know what you guys like the most so I can focus on that. Not completely but maybe upload maybe two or three times more a week of that for you guys. And or if you guys like any any other games i don't want to i don't want this channel to be sim specific i do love sims trust me i do love sims but if, I, if you guys like other games i do love playing other games as well but anyways this video is coming to an end i'm gonna go into screenshots now see you guys in the next one bye